What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Alex's Toy Show. However, this shall be fan mail. We are gathered around here. We have the Dark Elf Necromancer, Captain Jack Swallow, KT Crush, Hunter Kingsbury, International Model Supreme, and the Jawas, the Droid Traders, the Wreckers, and whatever the hell else they do. And then over in the middle here, we have... Custom Lego Alex, his cup of coffee, and his throne of games. Notice the push broom. And the lightsaber. Pretty cool. Can we get in a pun on that? Because I know I took a picture, but for those who haven't seen the picture, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right, and then, so I said we have fan mail. I uh, went to the post office box. Not really. I got. I met up with Grim and he gave me all the shit that was uh, for me, I guess. Uh, so uh, I brought it home and we're going to take a look at it. And uh, we're going to see what everybody got. Hang on just a second. And here it is. I uh, I mean, I, I put it on the bed so we could take a nice picture. I mean, I mean, I see that's from Big Bad Toy Store. But I mean, look at all this other shit. Look at all these envelopes. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to open all these up and we're going to see who gave me what. Uh, stand by. For standing by. All right, folks. So we're in the chair at the master workstation in front of the. Let's go to the videotape, and we're about to open the mail. Here it is. We're opening. This is from Uncle Teddy. Okay. Oh, check it out. Uncle Teddy sent me. This is. Here we go. This is Machine Wars. This is Megaplex. Megaplex was a clone of Megatron at the time. I'm not sure what story angle they were trying to do, but this is Megaplex. He has the stripes on his back. That's how you know it's him. And he's got the, the Megatron face. This is his face! And uh, also in the box... Oops. Can we stand this guy up? Is from Machine Wars as well. This is Machine Wars Thundercracker. Pretty cool, pretty cool. He's kind of green. He's got this whole pattern going on in the back. And uh, what was cool about the Machine Wars guys is they were kind of like the one-step changers that you see now for Age of Extinction. You just pull his nose cone forward, and he's a jet. And his legs and his hands, just arms or whatever, stay underneath there. So here we go again. Here's Megaplex. Put his arm. Put your arm down, son. Pull it. Ta-da! Oh, we dropped it on the floor. And we have a jet. All right, so thanks, Uncle Teddy. That's uh, that's pretty hot. Let's get to the next one here. The next one is from McCards. I guess they're a trading card store. Oh, look at this. Can you get in there? This is Andy Van Slyke, some baseball cards. This is 1988 Donruss. Can we zoom out a little? This is a rack pack in 1988 Donruss. Uh, what you could do, it's kind of like buying, if you know baseball cards, they still sell them. There's rack packs out there, only they're, you, you know, in some plastic, and they're, uh, they're two, two kind of, two packs, but they're thicker than a regular pack. Uh, this is back in the day when this cost $1.19, and there goes the price tag. <laughs> oh, it's all right. We're going to save this. We're going to hang this on the wall. We're going to make it look nice. Thank you, McCards. That's, um, uh, that's pretty sweet of you. Uh, cause, you know, what's one more Andy Van Slyke to the collection? Being, you know, you have 65,000. That's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is from Dirk McGurk. Come on now, that can't be your real name. But anyway, we're gonna check it out, and it is... Look at this. Sealed on the card, Generations Thunderwing. Dude, this has to go for at least 20 bucks. You guys are out of your mind. Who's spending this money on me? This is really cool. Check out the get the, the coolness on the back. Thunderwing in the uh, Generation One comics was it was set late in the late maybe the last twenty epi episodes, twenty issues or so, like maybe because uh, it ran up to eighty, so it's probably somewhere in the sixties. He appeared as like he emerged as like the higher leading Decepticon, and he went after the Matrix. I believe the story was over a couple of issues long called Matrix Quest. And he was the Decepticon looking for the Matrix. Actually got the Matrix, put it in him, and he was like, Super Thunderwing, or some, I don't remember. It was a long time ago I read it. You know what? 
Read it, you illiterate bastards. Thank you, Dirk McGurk. Um, let's let's skip to a couple of envelopes here. We'll uh, we'll check these out. Let's get some scissors to open this bitches up. This is from my own creations. Okay, all right. We're gonna zip. we're gonna zip this open. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got a case of cards. No. Oh shit. We have one. Okay. Can you see this? Look at this. I do. I want to open this. Oh, it opens. Oh, I don't want to open this. Okay. We're gonna close that back up. This is. Can you see that in there? How about that for focus? This is a 2012 Topps Triple Threads six times game used bat. You can see the. The AVS and the glove and the and the number there, 18. Slyke's uniform number was 18. AVS is like his initials, Andy Van Slyke. That's a glove for baseball. And it's serial numbered, one of three. Now where the hell is a serial numbered? Oh, it's in the bottom. I don't know if you can make that. Here you go. Let's open this up and I'll show you the serial number without dropping this. Uh, can we catch it in the light? There you go, one of three. And it's autographed at the top. Wow, dude. That You know what this means is that there's only three of these in the world, and I now have one. Holy shit. <laughs> We're going to put this in the Andy Vance like pile. Holy crap. Thank you, my own creations. You are creative. <laughs> Something. Uh, the next one. Oh, and if you're wondering where to send this stuff, Let's block out the names. Grimm's Toy Show, P.O. Box, 371, Island Heights, New Jersey, 08732. Grimm will get this stuff to me. This is from Limited Sports. Feels like another baseball card. Limited Sports. And we have... Oh, this is pretty cool. We got the trash right over here. Uh, this is, you got that in there? There we go. This is 2013 Panini Hometown Hero Signatures. Pretty bitchin'. Not serial numbered, but still pretty cool. There you go. Thanks for the business. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here's another one. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this is from Sans Cards. All right. Pretty cool. Oh. This is pretty awesome. I got a few of these, but, uh, you know, more is welcome. Check it out. Check it out. This is 2005 Upper Deck Classic Counterparts with Jack Clark. It's, um, these are a variation of cards. Sometimes there's, like, some gold foil, I think. Like, the signature is gold foil. Or there's, um, an autograph somewhere. Or there's a serial number. Um, 04, 05, and 06, there were, like, it was, like, you know, what else can we serial number? This one is just regular, regular numbered uh, CCVC for the initials of the players. Um, classic cards, Vance Lyke and Clark. Uh, but still pretty cool. I mean, this is awesome. I have, I now have one more. All right, get the trash going here. Always clean up your mess. Uh, oh, this is a, this is a hefty one. A little bit of postage on here. This is from Surf City Cards. Always remember, not everything takes one stamp. Sometimes it takes two stamps. Sometimes it takes three stamps. Sometimes it's five fucking dollars for a stamp. Go to the post office. Oh, all right. This is pretty cool. This is 1984 Tops. This is an 84 Tops Rack Pack. Oh, and here's... Andy Vance Like is not on the front, but he is right there on the back. How fucking badass is that? This is from, who did I say this is from? Surf City Cards. Thanks, guys. Andy Van Slyke on the bottom. Nice. That's, <laughs> that's pretty hot. That's cool. I got a couple of rack packs with him on the top. Um, that's also his his rookie card. I don't know if I mentioned that. No, I didn't. Uh, Andy Van Slyke's, his rookie card is an 84 tops. The 84 tops cards look like that. This is his teammate, would-be teammate once upon a time, very briefly. Dave Parker. Very awesome. Very awesome. Here's another heavy one. 
from B. Bayan? Bayan? Okay, we're butchering names today. <laughs> Double whammy. It is also a 1984 Tops rack pack. And look, Dave Winfield's on the front. Everybody knows who Dave Winfield is. It's fucking with Dave Winfield. He would hit line drives so far, they would go over the home run wall in Yankee Stadium. And Andy Van Slyke is on the back of this one also. Oh, same spot, too. That's pretty cool. So, two rookies in one day in the rack pack. That's, I think I'm buying a lottery ticket. <laughs> Thanks, man. That's that's awesome. Uh, this next one, oh, it's a little thin, too. Looks like a baseball card. Let's check it out. This is from AM Sports. Yep, probably. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Oh, yes. I know exactly what. Okay. This is, in 1992, Leaf baseball cards were a gray border. They did a preview set with a black border and some gold foil trim, uh, and they number them differently than the regular set. This is, Andy Van Slyke is numbered 9 out of 33. So instead of having, like, you know, if it was 400 cards for Series 1, this was Series... Uh, what did I say? Oh, this is the preview series, I'm sorry. Out of 33 cards... Andy Vance like was number nine, and you know there was thirty two other players. It's not like there's only thirty three of these in the world, but they were really limited. Like, I think five thousand copies. Nice. I have a bunch of these, but fucking one more, man. I'll take it. Thank you guys. And the next one is from Carrie Lewis. Feels like a baseball card. No, oh, <laughs> it's ten baseball cards. Wow. This is 1987 Tops Traded. Uh, at the end of the 1986 year, Andy Van Slyke was in a trade to the Pittsburgh Pirates from the Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals. I think they say it on the back of the card. Nope. <laughs> Sometimes they say who they were traded for. Uh, but he was traded. I want to say it was Van Slyke, Mike LaValerie, he was a catcher, and... Todd Worrell was a rookie that year. I think he stayed on the Cardinals. And Mike Mike Dunn? D-U-N-N-E, Dunn. And they were all in a trade. It was a big trade. It was like it was for it was for um Tony Pena. Tony Pena went to the Cardinals with crap. It was Tony Pena and one player for Andy Van Slyke, Mike LaValerie. I want to say Mike Dunn and maybe somebody else. It was a huge, big, it was like, holy shit, Tony Pena just got traded. Nobody cared about anybody else. And then everybody else became players. All right, uh, moving on. We have, uh, we got some stuff down here. We got some stuff. How are we feeling? I'm feeling lucky over here. Let's, let's see how lucky we feel. There's an, oh, that, that shakes. This next one is from uh, Dave Ma Mamer. Uh, let's see what we got here. Whoa! Han Solo. Look at this shit. This is Han Solo from from uh, Return of the Jedi. When they went to the forest moon of Endor, they had a mission there. He comes with a cloak, a camouflage cloak, and a um, blaster gun. This is pretty cool. Also in the box... Check this out. Uh, I'm painting an army of these. Uh, Feisty Pants has a number of Hot Wheels fire engines that come in different colors because, you know, that's Hot Wheels. So I picked up uh, one or two of these. This is Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. In this series, he was a fire engine instead of a tractor-trailer truck. And uh, sent me one of those. That's pretty cool. We have, also from Robots in Disguise, Ultra Magnus. Um, Ultra Magnus, still a transporter truck, car carrier truck. Um, Hot Wheels also makes them in a number of colors that I've been painting. Uh, wow, this is pretty cool. This is from Generation 2. This is Rapido. Rapido? Rap rapid? The word rapid, meaning fast, with an O at the end. Unlike Cheerio by Carmen, which is one of my jams. Didn't know that about my pal! Alright, so that's pretty cool. That's like one of my favorite guys ever. And the Oh, this is pretty awesome! These are Spy Changers. They, spy changers are little, here, I'll transform this guy real quick. Little guys, they're just simple transformation. This is Jazz. Uh, 
He's been reincarnated. These spy changers have been reincarnated over and over. They were um, robots in disguise. They were uh, Generation 2. They were car robots. They were, you know, hey, let's do it again. They came with a tin. They came with a, you know, pack of smokes. <laughs> I'm making stuff up. Um, I don't smoke, and you shouldn't either. Don't even get on that. Smoking is bad. Have you seen what smoking does? You know those commercials that are on TV? Those are real. People die. And they look like shit. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, ah, let's go to this one. This is from Dan Wynn. I didn't open this one. Good job. We're going <laughs> to sip this open real quick. Good, good job. Dan has sent. Oh, look at this! Ah, oh, it's a little dirty. Ah, oh, shit. All right, we're gonna have to. It doesn't smell like butt, but it's <laughs> Generation Two Grimlock. We're not gonna. We're not gonna touch that. And oh, speaking of which, it's one of the Spy Changers reincarnated. Here he goes. This is. This looks like it came from like one of those uh, dollar store places. Um. You know, like uh, the Dollar General or Five Below or something, Marshalls. Um, but this is Prowl. One of the cars repainted as Prowl. See, he's got the, the look on the hood, like Generation 1 Prowl does. Pretty bitchin'. Can you zoom up in there? Yeah. Um, sweet. Uh, but G2 Grimlock, uh, we're going to need to... I don't know if you can make out all the dust. Look at the wear on the chrome there. It's still pretty cool. I dumped this guy in a pot of Lysol, and uh, <laughs> he'll come out just like. Rah! We're gonna we're gonna put that in the to be clean pile. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, Dan! Uh, please, guys, if you're sending me stuff, I completely appreciate it. But don't send me dirty shit. That's gross. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Clean Kill. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a real name either. But, uh... Oh, oh, we got some stuff here. Whoa! This is pretty... Here, check this out. This is transforming Boba Fett. Boba Fett is a bounty hunter from Star Wars. He's probably one of the badassest characters in the world. At, oh, oh, he comes with a little Boba Fett. Hey, oops. Hey, a mini Boba Fett. It's like a pilot. He goes right in there. And then Boba Fett transforms into... Oh, he sent the card, too. There you go. Can you see that? Boba Fett transforms from Boba Fett to the Slave One. That's his spaceship where he takes all his prisoners. Bitchin'. That's pretty cool. Thanks, uh, Clean Kill. You guys can put your real names. I, uh, I won't give out your addresses. Or if you don't want to give your real names, you know, because you think the aliens are going to come get you, that's cool, too. I'm, you know, I will respect your wishes. But still very awesome. Um, what else do we have here? We have, this is from, I didn't open this one either. Come on. This is not going to be another 25 minute video. Maybe. <laughs> this is from Caleb. Caleb. Caleb? What the fuck? Who the hell's name is Caleb? Well, I almost thought it said Kal-El. You know, from Superman? That would have been cool. Kal-El sends a bunch of styrofoam peanuts, and, uh, and this guy, oh, look at this, this is pretty cool, this is, uh, Generations Hardtop, pew 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 pew, that's pretty awesome, we're not gonna transform him, because we're running short on time, is there anything else in here, oh, there's instructions, but for Jetblade, okay, oh, here we go, hard, oh, it's Mindset, okay, here you go. There's his instructions real quick. This is what he looks like in black and white. <laughs> and Jet Blade, this is what Jet... Oh, Jet Blade's a, a jet. Can you see that? Thanks, kal -El. Let's show you Jet Blade real quick. Yeah! That's a hot color right there. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. He's miss oh, there's a missile. We're good. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Uh, we got a couple more. Running out of time. Oh, I didn't open this one either. Jesus Christ. 
Don't curse. I mean, geez. Oh my G O S H. I'm not gonna sing everything is awesome, but it is. This is from Jay Mercer. Uh, paper. Plastic. I was hoping for a bigger pop. This is a helicopter. Look at this. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Holy crap. Here's a quick instructions. This is Autobot Springer with some Japanese lettering. Pretty cool. And he's in there around some paper towels. Oh my god, if you guys have never YouTubed paper towels, I want you to do this after you're done watching the video. Go on YouTube, search paper towels. It's this college guy, he's imitating um, one of those magic, uh, magic squeegee things for your car. It absorbs like all this shit. He puts it in a pot of soda, and it's a real. It's one of those uh, commercials you see late at night, and it's like, hey, clean your car with one thing instead of like buying a hundred dollars worth of cleaning supplies at, at your auto auto store. But uh, here you go. Here's Springer real quick. Spins pretty cool. Um, so this guy, he gets on. College guy, you know, he sets up. Oh, and there's weapons in there. That's hot. And he sets it up, and he's got a roll of paper towels, and he just makes his own, you know, Grimm's Toy Show, Alex's Toy Show video about paper towels instead of, like, in all the great uses there are for paper towels instead of, you know, the magic squeegee for your car or something. <laughs> I, I laughed uncontrollably. <laughs> um... It's a couple of years old, and I had heard that uh, the guy died over the years. I don't know. I mean, you know, college kids are crazy. What the hell? All right, but check it out. See if it's still on there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for it, and if I can find it and share it on Twitter, I will share it on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me on Twitter, I am at MyPalAlex. Fucking find me. I'm watching you fuckers. Okay, and the last one. Now, I'm not going to say that Big Bag Toy Store sent me some fan mail. They didn't, but I saved it for the fan mail video. Big bad toy store. This is pretty cool. I actually paid for this, but I'm going to open it in front of you all and then do a separate review of the figure. Ta -da! Cause I know what it is. I know what it is. We got here a receipt. <laughs> We got the big bad toy store flyer. Got some bubble wrap. If you thought this was going to be your average transformer, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. It is slag. Sorry, not slag. This is Scoria. Scoria is the code name for slag. This is a third party generation one masterpiece imitation kind of thing. Um, I really shouldn't say imitation because these come out almost as good as, if not better, than actual masterpieces. And they make plenty more uh, than fucking Hasbro does. So get on it, Hasbro. Um, this, is this Fan Toys? Spark Guard. Mm, fan Toys, this is Fan Toys number four. Fan Toys is a uh, third party company. One of those people who make, but that's like all they make is like masterpiece Transformers. Um, they don't make like half ass Transformers at all. Uh, they make a lot of good shit. They're making all five Dinobots. Slag here. Sorry, Scoria was the first one in the line of five. Uh, you can pre-order Swoop uh, on Big Bag Toy Store. And you can pre-order Snarl. Snarl's the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. <laughs> and um, Sludge is next. And I think they're going to wrap it up with Grimlock in the end. And, they're, and you're going to say, didn't they just make a masterpiece Grimlock? Yes, they did. Hasbro did. It's... A slightly smaller in height as a robot than Scoria here. So the, the fan toys Grimlock will be in proportion to the rest of these Dinobots. I am really looking forward to Snarl and Sludge. Of course, they're not going to be called Snarl and Sludge because they are not Hasbro toys. And actually, you know, even Slag is not Slag. It's Slug. Because you know why? Apparently, somewhere in in the uh, European countries, the word slag is derogatory to some people. Um, 
I don't know what it means. I think I've covered this before that I, you know, like, I would love, like, a, a, a Transformer called, you know, hey, tra Dinobot asshole, <laughs> go, go pick up the shit or something. I, you know what I mean? Think of the, think of the wonders you could do with something like that. Hey, Transformer dickhead. Hey, Autobot jackass. I would think that'd be pretty cool, but, you know, who the hell am I? All right, so, um, we're at 23 minutes. We're approaching 24 minutes. Thanks, everybody, for sending me shit. If you're going to send me shit, go, you know, right to Grimm's Toy Show. I will get the shit from him until I until I get my own P.O. box set up. It's just time-consuming. Here's the address again. Grimm's Toy Show, P.O. Box, 371, Island Heights, New Jersey, 08732. Like this video, leave me a comment, and subscribe for more. Peace. How do you shut this off?